Okay, let's talk about math notes. And uh, as a math teacher, I can tell you right now that the better your math notes are, the better your grade is going to be. So you want to know how to take good math notes. And this isn't exactly obvious to a lot of students. Uh, what I've seen is... Um, you know, some students know how to take good notes and they get better year after year after year. And of course, their grades <laughs> are doing better and better. And then there's the, those students out there that are struggle taking math notes or maybe they're just confused, but they kind of continue um, poor habits and note taking. And it translates into not doing well in math. So if you're looking to improve in math or to ensure a great math grade, Math notes is like the secret path there. So we're going to talk about some of the features of what uh, should be in your notes and some tips and etc. So I'm going to um, make this a short video, but it's going to be an important video. But let me first go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of uh, Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over the last many, many, many years, I constructed several online math courses. So if you want to check out my uh, full math learning program, uh, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description uh, in this video. So that's where you can find my math help program if you want to see my full math instruction. Also, um, something new that I'm adding is math notes, my own math notes, um, as a reference. So if you want to check out and pick up a set of pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, or more advanced notes, uh, just look underneath this video. You, can find, you should be able to find a link there or in the description. All right, so... Let's get to this exciting concept and topic of math notes. So we got a little picture of, of some math notes here and uh, let's just get right to it. So this is the way I kind of like to do things. So here is our little notes, okay? And uh, first of all, let's just talk about how you should get organized with your note taking, uh, math note taking before even like school starts, okay? And I'm talking about not school, you know, everyday school, I'm talking about, hey, before you even enroll in a math class, maybe it's September or, or whatever, okay? So the first thing I'm going to suggest to you is get yourself one of those big three-ring binders, okay? Or one of those, um, uh, I'm talking about something you get like at Walmart, something that's already self-contained, okay? One And get it, don't go small, go like bigger, okay, in terms of getting something that's substantial. Now, some of you like to use uh, loose-leaf notes, that's up to you if you want to like, you know, um, kind of do it, eh, I'm going to say old school, but where you kind of open up, do something that you're comfortable with. I I kind of like to um, discourage these because these are kind of like usually hardcover, although they do have floppy covers, but get something nice and big and uh, self-contained, all right? And do not mix up your notes with other uh, course topics. And then just put... Uh, as a title, you know, whatever your course is and be like, okay, this is pre-algebra, boom, right on top. Now I'm probably giving you like real basic stuff, but what you don't want to do is just get a piece of paper or get like a, a small notebook, okay? Before you go into a math course, give yourself a, like a more room than you think you might need because good math notes, you very well could like uh, fill this thing up. OK, so and you want to keep it self-contained because at the end of the year, you want to keep you definitely want to keep this as a study reference. So first thing is this. What you're doing with note taking is you're going to build a product that you're going to keep for the long run. OK, just think of it in those respects. So, you you know, if you can kind of keep it self-contained. All right. That's the best way. And, uh, and I've seen students sometimes with loose leaf, they'll, they'll have this book, they'll have this other book, and then, you know, they're all over the place. So first things first, get yourself a nice big three-ring binder, write your the math class on it, and also use pencil, okay? Try to use pencil. I know a lot of you, uh, a lot of you out there use pen. Pen is uh, okay. The problem with pen is that you can't really erase it. I know there's erasable pen, uh, pens out there, so... Use pencil if you can because, you know, you are going to be erasing and you want to, you know, kind of make some edits to your notes as you go along. All right, so that's that kind of just getting organized, right? That's the first thing. Now, what is the point? What is the main thing, you know, that you want to get out of your math notes, okay? Like, what's the whole objective here? You're saying take math notes and whatnot. Listen, your math notes it, you should be the objective of you taking your math notes is you want to study, from your math notes. You want to study 
from your notes. All right. So let's uh, kind of think about that for a second. Okay. Why are you taking notes? Well, you're taking notes because once you leave the classroom, you need to like remember what the teacher taught and you need a reference. So I think sometimes uh, students are like, yeah, they just go through this exercise of note taking, then maybe they don't really kind of look at it and they just kind of get to the prompts. You need to think about what is the purpose of your of your notes? Well, you need to study from them. So now you have to ask yourself, well, if I'm going to study from my notes, what are some of the qualities, um, you know, that I should have in my notes? Well, <laughs> let's just be honest, right? It's got to be like uh, clear, okay? Your notes have got to be uh, clear. And I'm going to get into some specific note taking tips here in a second, but let's just get some things, you know. Uh, um, kind of like upfront, you know, on what the whole purpose of taking math notes is. Okay. So your notes have got to be clear. They got to be readable. Now, a lot of you out there, and I know I was not uh, the neatest person. There's a lot of you out there that are not re neat, uh, or you're, you know, effectively kind of sloppy. That's okay. I was sloppy. So if you're sloppy and if you can't really understand your writing, you're going to have to improve. Okay. You have to make your writing clear enough that you can study from it. And I'm talking about like months, you know, past what you wrote. You can look back in your notes and you could be like, oh, you can read it again, okay? And I'd be like, oh, I don't even have any idea what I wrote here, okay? So you got to write clear, you know, all this material has got to be, um, you know, obviously readable. It's also got to be what? It's got to have some sort of organization to it, some sort of structure, okay? So it's kind of, you know, you're going to have to kind of like itemize, hey, what's, uh, you know, how could you find something? Think of this as a study book, all right, where maybe you have like a table of contents and you can just kind of scroll through and figure out what's what. Remember, at the end of the year, okay, or mid halfway through, you're likely going to be taking midterm exams and final exams, which is going to cover all the topics you studied. So again, you're building a product here. You're building a book, a study book, okay? And uh, your notes can be uh, worth gold in terms of your success for, um, you know, uh, uh, test exams, your grades, et cetera. All right, so it's got to be clear. It's got to be organized. And obviously, um, you know, it's got to be detailed. All right, so details. All right, so... In other words, you can't just have notes in there like, oh, chapter one equations, chapter two fractions, and you only show one or two examples, da, 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 da. So good notes, all right, it's things that you can study from are clear, they're organized, you know, and they're detailed. Okay, so these are the qualities of good math notes. So you have to ask yourself, hey, you know, um, you know, how are your notes? Well, you know, you, 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 there's always room for improvement, let's say that. Okay. Just think of that one person in one or two people in your class. If you were out, you know, sick for a week, and you're like, oh, you missed the notes, and you and you're like, and you you're gonna go to that one person that goes, hey, I know you over there. You, I know you always take great math notes, right? You're gonna go to that person because they say, can I copy from your notes? Why? Because they take awesome math notes, right? And then you copy from them and you're happy and you know you're not going to go to certain people because you know that they're not you know uh taking notes now the first thing another thing i want to mention here is this do not think that you can um just memorize all this stuff in class okay in other words in other words uh, i guess what i'm saying is don't think that you can get away with not taking notes okay some of you out there are like hey i'm good at math i don't need to really take notes i just kind of like learn by this and that you know by watching and doing i do well you know well that way I can tell you right now as time goes on you're going to pay a price for that so take notes take notes take good notes all right so this is the purpose you know um of taking notes this is these are the characteristics of it let's get into the actual mechanics of taking notes all right so the first thing is um Number one is to write everything your teacher puts down. Okay, so whatever your teacher writes, whatever your teacher writes on the board, get all that stuff, get like 90% plus in your notes. Okay, so this is going to require you to be focused in the class. Okay, so 
Uh, that's and this is why note taking is so directly proportional to students doing well. Okay, you have to be engaged. You got to be focused because you got to pay attention to what the teacher writes down. I can tell you as a math teacher for many, 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 many years that the teachers reward students who are paying attention. Teachers reward students that are paying attention. So I'm going to be writing stuff down on the, uh, my smart board, my chalkboard. I've used them all, whiteboard, you know, uh, and you're just writing stuff down. Da, 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 da. And here, let's say this is a chalkboard. Guess what? Um, depending on your, your, your setup or your teacher setup, they may run out of room, and then they're going to be like, okay, everyone got that down, and then they erase and move forward, <laughs> okay? So a teacher is paying attention to those students that are taking notes or not taking notes, right? And so they're writing stuff down, and all these little details are going to be um, uh, used as quiz and test questions, okay? I'm telling you right now, uh, and I'm just going to kind of make up a, a percentage, but it's probably fairly realistic, Oh, I don't know, 60 to maybe like 70%. Maybe that's a little bit high, but a significant majority of your test questions, okay, um, uh, are going to come from what you're going to find them you're, um, through what the teacher wrote on the board. In other words, your teacher is going to be doing questions and examples that you're going to see uh, again on tests and quizzes. So if you understand the notes, what's going on with the teacher's writing, you're already going to be understanding future uh, quiz and test questions. Now, the other uh, portion of where test questions come from is going to be from the homework. Okay, that's why you know it's so important to do the homework. But that's another topic um, there as well. So yes, you need to be doing your math homework. So between your with the teacher's writing and your homework prom, that really is uh, constitutes generally speaking a large majority of where test uh, and quiz questions are going to come from. So the rule number one, right, uh, follow what your teacher is doing. Now, this becomes difficult. I know some of you are saying, well, sometimes when you're trying, your teacher writes too fast or your teacher's sloppy. I'm going to talk about something here in a second. Um, it is kind of, uh, it could be a, a battle, right? Because you're like, oh, you're trying to write down and understand at the same time, right? I, I get it. So you're like, okay, I'm writing this down, I'm writing this down, I'm writing this down. But you're also you're trying to focus and reflect on what this also means and keep up. So it can be a battle, but you're going to have to do your best. And during that time frame, okay, just get down as much detail as what the teacher writes. Now, second thing, okay, second thing about note-taking, uh, and I call this kind of the cleanup phase, clean up, all right? You're going to have to clean up your notes, all right? Likely clean up your notes, unless some of you out there are super good, and there are some of you out there that are really like awesome note takers. Um, what I mean by clean up is after class or when you've got quiet time or when you're working on your homework, the clean up phase is your note editing phase. So you take what you wrote down in class, okay, and you're going to edit and clean things up. And this is where you're going to, you're going to make little notes to yourself, okay? like your own personal notes, right? Oh, okay, this is what this means. And, uh, uh, you know, and highlight things a little bit more, you know, um, uh, meticulously because it's very difficult to make your final copy of notes in class because your teacher is explaining. You should be trying to stay engaged, right? Ask questions and you don't un understand anything, paying attention. So it's hard to have that kind of final version of your reference notes. So when you go do your homework is a great time uh, you're using your notes, right, to do your homework. Hopefully you are. Okay, you're referencing your notes. You're doing homework. And then the next day, when you, if you have questions, you go to your notes, okay, and you're cleaning things up and you're adding in any things that you, that are, are um, that you, you need personally to add into your notes, okay? So rule number one, get everything down your teacher writes. Second thing is do a cleanup phase, okay, where you're editing and improving uh, above and beyond what the teacher is writing, okay? So that's why you really want to use pencil and you want to give yourself an, um, a, uh, a book that's big enough where you're kind of get, you're keeping yourself enough, you're giving yourself enough space to do this editing. You don't want to cram everything in on a few pages. Some of you maybe write small. Give yourself enough space, okay, uh, to do so, all right? All right, so... Um, so write everything the teacher writes, have a cleanup uh, phase. 
Next thing I, I would say to encourage you to take great math notes is to, um, and by the way, this is, could be part of your uh, grade as well. You may have to turn in your notes, is to get feedback, okay? So get feedback from your teacher and some uh, friends that, this is not true or false, get some feedback from your teacher. You'll be like, hey, uh, here's my notes. You know, da, da, da. They might want to see your notes anyways, okay? But ask them, hey, let's, you know, what do you think of my notes? Uh, you know, and then let them scan your notes and give you specific feedback. Right, that's a great way of doing things. Oh, you're missing this. Oh, that's really good. No, you seem to have everything going. Like, get some verification, validation if possible. Okay, and also, if you have some friends that are super, you know, like on top of their math notes, do a little comparison. Hey, what do you got in your notes? Da, da, da. You know, you don't want to go to any old person. You'll know those 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 individuals, and you can even ask your teacher. Hey, uh, can I see your notes? All right, because uh, your teacher will have notes for the lesson plans, okay? So look, like get ideas from other students who are excelling uh, in terms of stylistically, um, you know, constructing your notes. And there's different ways you can do that, but for but the bottom line, it's got to be organized and detailed and clear. you got to be able to go through it as a reference book, okay? So get, feed, uh, get feedback from your teacher, get feedback from, or look to judge yourself, compare, through uh, people who are also doing, you know, really, really well in math, okay? And the last thing I would say, and we're going to wrap up this video here, is this is a skill, okay? This is not something that you just kind of like learn. You'll get better at taking math notes, right? And it could be quite challenging, especially in more advanced classes. It, you know, it, it becomes kind of overwhelming. And it be, but what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is this, don't, don't let your guard down. It's easy to get, I don't want to say lazy, but it's easy uh, like to slack off on note-taking. I could just tell you right now for personal experience, even in college, right? it's like, oh, it's overwhelming. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'll follow up later. I'll take my notes later. I'll remember, I'll remember this, and then I'll go and construct my notes after class. Da, 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 da. Guess what? Oftentimes, you get disrupted. You, you get you know, uh, pulled in different directions, and then you forget what the teacher taught. Okay, so... From a, a mindset standpoint, don't slack off on note taking. When you go into your math class, just remember that you got to be ready. You got to be focused and engaged to take take down, like listen to the teacher or write everything uh, down. And um, if your teacher like hands out notes, you're like, oh, my teacher gives me notes. Well, that's not, you know, that's good. They're trying to help you out. That's, you know, that's a good thing. But note taking uh, goes to your retention goes to your comprehension, uh, et cetera. Very, very important. Okay, so again, uh, let me just uh, uh, wrap this up by saying that at the end of the year, whatever math course you take, okay, you do not throw away your notes. Do not throw away your notes. Okay, I know it's like some of you are like, oh man, really? I got to keep my algebra notes, my pre-algebra, geometry notes? Yeah, hold on to all that stuff. Um, and believe me, you'll you'll be happy that you, you've done so, especially if you're just starting high school or wherever you're at. You just never know, okay? Hold on to those notes until you're absolutely sure you'll never have to deal with any math again, and then you can give them, pass them down or uh, to your grandchildren. Give them as a Christmas gift or something like that, birthday gift. I'm sure that'll make a <laughs> wonderful gift for some people. Of course, I'm being funny, but the big mistake that I see people do is they're at the end of the year, they're so happy that they finished school and then they throw their notes in the trash can. Hold on to them. They will come in handy in the future. All right. So hopefully, you know, you found some value uh, to this okay, uh, video and this information. Again, I just want to stress to you, I'm leave you with this thing here, okay? Uh, from years of teaching, I've seen this is one of the most biggest trends I've seen. The better your notes are, the better your grade is going to be. The better your quiz grades, the better your everything, okay? So this is serious stuff, all right? If you want to do well in math, then you want to do well in math note-taking. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.